In 209 AD, Sun Quan proposed a union between his sister Sun Shangxiang and the recently widowed Liu Bei. In actuality, this was employed by Zhou Yu to lure Liu Bei into Wu and capture him. After consulting with Zhuge Liang, Liu Bei decided to accept his proposal and go to Wu, knowing that it was merely a ruse. Liu Bei was at first intimidated by the rambunctious Sun Shangxiang, but he quickly became enamored with her straightforward attitude. Meanwhile, Sun Shangxiang was also stricken by Liu Bei's virtuous and charismatic personality, and what was once a ruse had now turned to reality. Liu Bei and Sun Shangxiang's flight from Wu was about to begin. Alright, so here's the next legend scenario, Sun Shangxiang scenario, Liu Bei's escape, and the special rules, no bodyguards. So here we go. Alright, the equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the assault track rooms at level 10. The items, it's been a while, so I'll show off exactly what I'm going to be using. There we go. Um, I can't use any bodyguards. The objectives, we gotta make sure that both me and Liu Bei reach the escape point. If Liu Bei dies, if I die, if time runs out, we lose. Unit info. For Liu Bei's forces, you have Liu Bei and Sun Shangxiang, which is me, and that's it. For Sun Quan's forces, you have Chung Pu, Pan Zhang, Xu Shang, and Ding Fang. Also, Zhou Tai will be here, and I think Jian Xin as well. So, anyways, uh, let's do it. So, like I said before, the goal is to get to the escape point with Liu Bei, and uh, that will end the stage. Everyone head to the southwest. So pretty much wherever you go, he will follow, so you don't have to worry about that much. Um, but I still need to try to defeat as many troops as I can. Just because you need to get yourself out of there for starters. But more importantly, if Zhou Tai appears, um, Zhou, uh, Zhao Yun will also appear, depending on if he does, um, whether or not on how many KOs he has. If you get a certain amount of KOs, Zhao Yun will not appear in the stage. Uh, I think it's 200 or 250, I'm not 100% sure. But if you get that required KOs, then he won't be here. If you get less KOs, then um, he will appear here. Um, I haven't seen Zhao Yun appear in this stage yet. Um, and that's one of those things, just like I said in the last part. Um, if I don't know what will occur, and it may be a bad thing, and if I suspect it being a bad thing, I'm not gonna, um, try to show it off unless I really need to. Um, but if I know about it off camera and I figure it out, then I'll mention it, but I'm not gonna intentionally show something off unless I feel like I really need to when it comes to a, uh, negative situation. Anyways, so, I don't know if you saw earlier, but we could actually recruit female bodyguards and have them fight alongside us. Uh, something tells me that's going to be a level 11 requirement, but um, I'm going to try to show off all of them, or rescue all of them, and get to the escape point with them all intact, hopefully. Um, there are four. One you start out with right away, and the other two are just there. Um, oh, not two, three, but um, one of them is fighting right now. And then the other two, as you see there, were just there. And then the fourth one, obviously, um, appears right when you start. So, I'm referring to the two that are just there. The one down at the bottom and on the top left corner. But, um, anyways, so we got that. Yeah, I'm not worried about the main camp because they will always follow me no matter what. Um, I might secure this gate though just because I don't have to worry about troops chasing me. I don't know if that gate back at Herfei will reappear or be uh, unsecured again, but um, I'm just going to go after all the gates, defeat all the gate captains just in case if they don't reappear. 
So uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry. That's just me though. Anyways, so now that we have done that, we secure that gate, we'll go and recruit the next uh, bodyguard. Because there are four all together, like I said before. One starts out with you right at the castle, and then you have to rescue one of them fighting over here in this area. Um, the one over here is pretty easy to rescue. But then the fourth one in the top left corner, Zhou Tai and Jian Xin will both be in that area. So uh, you might want to be careful with that. Um, yeah, there's no gates over there, so that's fine. Um, there's no unique item in this stage, whether it's a brand new item from uh, the expansion or the original. So I don't have to worry about getting anything special in this stage. Um, let me get that. I'll definitely show off that, though. Uh, that's what a dim sum is. The Musa wine will be on the other side. Right there. Now we'll defeat the guard captain, open up the gate, then we'll defeat uh, Ding Fong and. Uh, I'll slowly start to defeat troops first. And I don't think, yeah, I don't think, uh, yeah, the gates don't respawn, so that works. I'll secure the gate first, if anything. I mean, as long as the, those gates don't reappear and respawn, we should be fine. I don't have to worry about troops chasing us at all, honestly. No, my luck on very hard mode or expo mode, that's probably gonna be a different story. But, um, anyways. So far, so good. Alright. Once again, I'm not worried about the main camp. I think I just defeated them both. Oh no. He just barely survived. Not anymore, though. Anyways. Alright. Here comes the reinforcements. And there's the fourth uh, bodyguard. Machines down. That was weird. That wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, nice try. Joe ties down. Now we'll go and rescue that fourth uh, bodyguard. Then we'll head out of here. Screw it. I'll do it on foot. And it seems to me that the gates don't respawn, so it helps. I mean, I said it before, but... I mean, it's not even, like, a few minutes later, and... 
typically they would respawn quickly, so... I'm just saying. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I mean, one time I played this stage, Yanshin went all the way back down to guard that, um... To guard the bridge, but we already defeated him, so... Getting to the end now would be very easy to do. So I'll head over there now, defeat the troops over there, and we'll be set. Probably be around 350 KOs. Yep. I don't know why they had very little health over there. Anyways. Now all I have to do is wait for Liu Bei and we'll be set. And that's a win. Alright, another one down. Okay, okay, it's 356. I'm pretty sure we defeated everybody in the stage. Our clear time is 9 minutes and 23 seconds. Uh, we probably got a boatload of points, so that's going to wait a little bit. <laughs> I feel like part of these bonuses have to do with the requirements for the level 11 weapon. I could be wrong though. I think your grade and your bonus are one and the same. Like I said, I could be totally wrong on that. It's a lot different with Extreme Legends in comparison to uh, Dynasty Warriors. Uh, well, from uh, the expansion to the uh, original game, if you play any other normal stage when it comes to like the Battle of Hulao Gate or. You know, the campaign for Chengdu, or the battle of Shuchang. I'm just throwing stages off the top of my head. Anyways, so we have a good 7,803 points. Not that that matters, because the rank is at max. Alright. The weapon experience does not matter because uh, we have the level 10 weapon. Now the grade, probably another A, barely, but we got another A. Um, okay, this time 60 points though. Um, eh, anyways, uh, we'll save and uh, there you have it. You can watch my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4. In some cases, it's Extreme Legends, but for me, it's still 4. And I'll see you in the next part, and we'll go and complete another Legend scenario. So, peace out.